بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن آئی ایم یور کمپیوٹر ٹیچر شہباز علی ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس کمپیوٹر چیپٹر نمبر 4 دیٹ از اباؤٹ ڈیٹا اینڈ پرائیویسی لیٹس اسٹارٹ سو فرسٹلی انٹروڈکشن ایز ہی نو ڈیٹ ان دا ماڈرن ایرا آلموسٹ آل ایج آف دا پیپل آر یوز دا کمپیوٹر فار دا پرپز آف کریٹنگ این ای میل اکاؤنٹ شاپنگ آن لائن visiting a hospital or taking admission in a school, we give our personal information to the computer and we expect that all our provided information cannot be shared to the other person. Protecting data from malicious users is called data privacy or information privacy. Means simple, our concern is that our provided data cannot be shared from the other persons without the permission, that is data privacy or information privacy. Ethical issues related to the security. It's our own ethical responsibility to keep it secure. For example, you are in the net cafe and you are using the internet. After completing your work, you left the computer, but you forget to log out your ID. Uh, the other person came and used the same computer that you were used. It is its ethical responsibility to don't use your Gmail ID and remove it. Some data security issues are. Confidentiality and privacy, fraud and misuse, patent means government authority or license, copyright, legal rights given to the originator, yani jisne wo cheez banai hai, wo aapko right te raha hai, iska istamal karne ka, that secrets, secret techniques for manufacturing products, yani aapne koi cheez banai hai, aur aapka idea istamal karte wo cheez bani hai, aur aap kisi aur ke saath isko share karna nahi chalte, aur jo koi bhi usko use karne ka, usko aapki permission leni hoogi. Last is sabotage, deliverability, destroy. First, now I will explain each topic one by one, confidentiality and privacy. To keep the data of the other as confidential is in the taking care of the other. For example, the bank share all your transactions of the business from your competitors. So your competitor misuse all the data that is provided by the bank and destroy your business. So it is the responsibility of the bank to keep secure your data and don't share without the permission with the other person. Similarly for the uh, mobile phones, companies and for the all of your records are saved from the mobile phone companies. So mobile phone companies to keep the voice and bill as confidential. Last as you know that we have a lot of data. So we need a computer to store all this data that may be related to our credit cards, organizational funds, rising campaigns, opinion polls, shop at home services, driving lessons, arrest record and medical record. So the potential threat to privacy include improper use of a computerized data, shell email IDs and phone numbers to another company for marketing purpose, it breaches the confidentiality of the data. For example, if a company shells your ID and phone numbers for the sake of some margin, then he violates the law of a ethical principle. Our second topic is privacy. Privacy means making illegal copies. Uh, mostly the privacy words used in the term of software. But it can be a book, software, movie, poetry, painting, house architecture, or any other work protected by the copyright law. Software piracy. Software piracy is the illegal copy distribution or usage of software. Software piracy means illegal copies of software without the permission of the software company. For example, if you purchase a software, the software company gives you a specific key. As you can see on your computer screen, we have a box here. I put the key that is provided by the software company. I put all the keys one by one and press next. The software installs successfully. The illegal copies are stopped to be installed. But some people search this key on the internet. By using illegal means, this is called cracking the key. For example, you have not purchased software and when you have not purchased software, you don't have the key of the software. So what do you do? You can copy the key of the software. 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 You can
इंटरनेट पर सर्च करने की कोशिश करते हैं वो की आपको अगर मिल जाती है किसी गैर कानूनी तरीके से आप उस की को तलाश करते हैं और की मिल जाती है डेट प्रोसीज कॉल क्रैकिंग ऑफ द की नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर पायरेसी इंक्लूड सॉफ्ट लिफ्टिंग बोरिंग एंड इंस्टॉलिंग कॉपीज ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम योर क्लीक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नीड अ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड योर क्लीक हैव दिस सॉफ्टवेयर डेट यू रिक्वायर एंड यू टेक द सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम योर क्लीक्स एंड इंस्टॉल इन योर सिस्टम डेट इज इलीगल फ्रॉम द प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ पायरेसी सेकेंड इज क्लाइंट सर्वर ओवर यूज इंस्टॉलिंग मोर कॉपीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर देन यू हैव लाइसेंस फॉर For example, you purchase a software, so you have must have a license. But in the organization, we have a multiple computers, so server computer share the key from its clients. So it is illegal. कैसे? अगर वो key purchase करता है 20 computers के लिए, और वो क्या करता है? 20 से ज़्यादा computer में अगर वो कम software इस्तेमाल कर रहा है, that is illegal. Next is hard disk loading. Installing and selling unauthorized copies of software on refurbished और न्यू कंप्यूटर्स सिंपल मींस इंस्टॉलिंग मल्टीपल कॉपीज फॉर एग्जांपल यू परचेज अ विंडो द फर्स्ट कॉपी ऑफ द विंडो इज एक्सपेंसिव सो यू क्रिएट मल्टीपल कॉपीज एंड बर्न इट हार्ड डिस्क हार्ड डिस्क स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस मींस सीडीडी एंड डीवीडी आप क्या करते हैं उस महंगी सॉफ्टवेयर को भी विंडो की तरफ से मिला जाता है वो काफी महंगा होता है आप उसकी क्या करते हैं सीडी और डीवीडी में उसकी मल्टीपल कॉपीज निकालते रहते हैं और उसको 20 30 रुपए में आराम से बाजार में आपको मिल जाता है तो ये इलीगल है Counterfeiting, duplicate and selling software having copyrights. Counterfeiting, counterfeiting means uh, that a software that you are running having a copyright law, and you are duplicating and selling in the market, you violate the principle of a copyright. Last is online piracy. Typically involves downloading illegal softwares. Downloading il downloading illegal software means uh, download the software without paying any money. Without paying any amount, you purchase, uh, you download that software from the internet. That is illegal. I hope you understand to the lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Take care, Allah Hafiz.